Hello, this is John from Rubber for Interior Designers. I understand that adding accessories like rugs or wall art to your Revit projects may seem challenging. So today I'll demonstrate how to add decals to your 3D models. It's actually pretty easy. Let's get started. Let's say you have a project and it requires a couple of inter elements to be added for the purposes of a rendering, a presentation of some sort. For instance, in this top view of this residential unit, uh, we'd like a large area rug, for example. There's a television uh, placed right here on top of this countertop. Not that you would normally put one there, but let's say for the sake of argument, there is a TV screen of some sort here. And on that TV screen, you'd like to show a graphic as well. So this technique that we're about to describe works for placing a three-dimensional planar surface, completely flat, into a model for presentation sake. And I think it's much easier than using the split face command, where under the modify tool in Revit, you can grab surfaces, whether it be walls or floors, and literally split out an area, which then can be painted with a particular material. The drawback of that method is that once it's done, it takes a few steps to revise the location of those objects of that painted area, especially if you need to resize it or adjust its location. So the font technique is much easier, I think. So let's talk about the decal tool in Revit. We'll start with the television set. So let's say I'd like to put a graphic on this television set for the sake of a presentation. We've got a plan view here. Uh, this section tag is looking straight at that TV. So I'm gonna double click on that and look at that television and elevation view here. This makes the placement of decals much easier if you're looking at the object receiving the decal dead on, flat. So I'm looking at the elevation of this television and I'd like to put an image in the monitor. So under insert, there is a tool here called decal and we're gonna create a decal type. And a decal is simply, again, a planar three-dimensional object that can be placed on surfaces on a Revit model. So here, I'm going to use the create new decal command, and I'm going to place a new object in this list called, called a TV screen. And I'll place another object in here called, let's take eight by 10 carpet, for example. So using the TV screen here, I will hit the browse button here and I will locate some images I previously downloaded. For example, here off of the web, I hit open and there's the image I've downloaded. I'll keep all the settings exactly the same. I will then pick the eight by 10 carpet under source. Again, I will point to a folder that has an image I've downloaded here. For example, this carpet, it happens to be eight by 10. And I'll hit OK. So now I have the assets I need to place this in my three-dimensional scene. So under decal, place decal, I can then choose the decal type I'd like here. So let's say, for example, this is a TV set. I use TV screen. And I will literally snap onto the face of this television screen. Escape. And that object right there is the decal which I can then move into position here, for example. As I select it, you'll notice under properties menu that there are the dimensions. As I make the image larger or smaller, you'll notice that, cancel that. You'll notice that the dimensions are handled here under properties and they are going to be locked proportionally here. So if I need to stretch the image to fill the screen more, I probably want to turn this off and then change the width. So using this measure tool here, 
I'll measure the size from this side of the TV to the other, which is about three foot seven or so. So selecting this object, I'll make this three foot seven. I'll maintain the same height, hit OK, and it stretches the image using AL on my keyboard for a line, modify a line. I will line up this decal with that edge right there. So I'll select this edge and move this to there. It's a little bit off, but under the same token, I can select it and use this keyboard to slide it back and forth. To confirm its location, I can simply switch my visual style to realistic. And lo and behold, there's the graphic. Let's go to a 3D view. Let's add a carpet or rather a rug to the underside of this area here in the living room. So let me switch to a floor plan view here. And again, you want to add these objects to the scene oriented toward the camera where you're looking. So here, I'll go back to insert, I'll go back to decal, place the decal. This time I'll choose the carpet and I will place it on the floor. So I snap onto the surface and there's the decal, escape, escape. Taking the decal allows me to adjust its size. We know that carpet is eight by 10. So if I change the width to 10, the size is approximately eight, inches, uh, eight feet tall. I can make it exactly eight feet by simply unchecking proportions and changing that number to eight feet. Then I can simply move my mouse here and it becomes a move tool where I can place the sofa in the area where it belongs. A quick preview using realistic view confirms that the carpet is in fact in the right location. This allows you to very quickly move this object in the scene by selection. You can grab the grips and pull on the grips here to adjust its size and proportions. If you hold shift, it maintains the proportion you started And simply, if you return to the properties, you can inject the actual size that you intended originally, and it returns to a normal size. Here is a quick perspective view that again confirms that the graphic is there on the television screen. And in fact, the carpet is located on the floor. And it's as easy as that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.